it is hump day, which means it is crew day. Now, the API report came out, and whoo, wow, was that bearish. Uh, crude had a bill of 10.9 million uh, barrels. Uh, gasoline had a draw of 0.6 million. Thistles had a draw of 2.6 uh, million. And uh, Cushing had a build of 1.4 million. Now, remember, the EIA report will be out today at 10.30. We'll see if it confirms. Okay, so as usual, we're going to review crude oil here and natural gas. This video is for information purposes only, not a recommendation to buy Sony stock on ETF. Please like, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we have crude oil daily chart, natural gas daily chart. Now, pretty much says it all right here, okay? See, this is the, what was going on here. This is that war premium and that hurricane. Now, the hurricane is still just going to come full force there at Florida, the way it looks like a Category 5. I don't know how that's all going to shake out, but we've got to see. So you want to keep your eye on that. But the other thing about crude oil is to keep your eye on that, what's going on with that war. Now, you can see yesterday we had a complete engulfing candle which means your high and your low engulfed the previous days and obviously this candle here too but it came down and held and it closed above that 50 day and that 21 day and the eight day now so far today we have what they call an inside day which is your high and low is the inside of the previous day's high and low here okay let's look at the downside here first so really realistically looking at that 7285 level uh 7280 level right there uh on your 50 sma here that's going to be very very key support okay if that's loss will come right to the top of this candle here you're looking at uh 71 uh, 94 and then we're going to be looking at is right here is this 70 uh, uh 95 that's going to be very very crucial obviously if that's lost here then we can just follow the candles down what you have here is you have 70 52 we'll look to the bottom of this candle you got 69 87 and then we come over to the top of this candle you got uh 69 32 okay and then we'll come here to the top of this candle you got uh, 68 uh 65 and then we can just ratchet all the way on down 67 57 uh 67 06 uh, 6695 and then here's a nice big retest on this uh, uh, war premium right here at 6637 uh, 33 and then your pre uh, big retest at 6527 here but we got to see how this is all going to shake out again if we can hold this support levels right here then we can take it to the upside so let's take a look at the upside okay so what we're looking for is today's high 7445 level okay now again if it gets above that then we're gonna come right to the top of this candle 7557 and then we'll have 7606 your 100 day that's going to be key support 7731 uh, uh, that's going to be your 200 day that's going to be very very key and then we can go to yesterday's high uh which we had uh 7846 level but let's just see how this all shakes out but again as long as that price holds this eight day and this 50 day you're looking good once it starts losing that you come down to the 20 day this eight day can roll over very very quickly just like what we had here so always just remember that uh but this is really right now we got to see how this is all going to shake out now rsi well it's not really telling you much here you're at uh sitting at about 53 level that's uh you know i could go either way uh your green is still over your red so it's still so a uh, positive uh, uh momentum here we just had that one big uh, as a candle yesterday, boy, that just engulfed everything there, okay? So again, uh, remember, this is that war premium that is in here. So just always remember that you had that uh, uh, 6633 on the bottom, and we had that uh, 78, uh, 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 46 there on the top. So you had $10, $12 there uh, roughly here of just premium here on that war. So we haven't seen how that's all going to shake out yet. Uh, the key is on the, on the whole situation of the war, if they attack some kind of an oil facility, anything on that order is going to take oil uh, screaming up higher. So we got to see how this is all going to shake out. But now you can see the big builds on the API report of 10.9 million. That's not going to be good. Plus the seasonality is in play. Now, what I want to tell you about the hurricane is a lot of times is uh, if there's massive destruction going on here, then you take all that people and all that oil right off the market kind of a situation and the gasoline and everything else. So while they start to rebuild there. So, you know, <clears throat> plus seasonality in play here. So um, I don't know how this is all going to shake out. So we just keep your eye on that hurricane and keep your eye on that war situation. And uh, that's how we're going to be trading oil here today. So what you want to really want to watch is, is, Make sure that you just keep your eye on this here on this eight day on the downside. Okay, that's gonna be very key. That's gonna be that 7285 and that 50 day right there, 7280. If that's lost, here's your target at uh, a 7095 here, that 21 day. And then obviously we follow the candles all the way on down. Upside, <clears throat> you just watch that today's high, that 7445 
watch the top of that candle 75.57 and then we start running into key resistance here at that 76.06 and 77.31 so basically what i'll be doing is trying to trade this range unless we start putting in yesterday uh, uh, lower than yesterday's low so yesterday we had that low of 72.69 if it goes below that that means she's going to go up a uh, uh, lower just like what we had situation going on here situation going on here so just be very very cautious here today uh, what me, I'll be looking just for trades long and short here on the old crew. Okay, now <clears throat> natural gas here is uh, looking, uh, I'm gonna say, uh, pretty as ugly, man. Look at this. Okay, so we had this big uh, last week here. This is what we had. This was like, uh, uh, it just wiped out all of these candles, all that four days of candles with one candle and it closed below the eight. That told me I had to get short. Now, I was long for this position, but I, I, I sold out of that. So I have no long position right now in the natural gas here. It's coming right off here. So yesterday was a big, another big tell because you put in a lower low, which obviously you're going to once you close below that eight day. If you can't get above it, then it's going to go down or sideways action. Okay. So yesterday we had this a little bit lower low at 2.69. Now today, what do we have here? Uh, you got another 2.694. Now we not have not filled this gap here yet. Okay. Okay. That's at 2.658. So we got to see how that's going to shake out. So that is going to be your next target on the downside is going to be that 2.658. And then we got to have that 21 day at 2.617. That's going to be very, very key. Now, again, if this holds, this would probably be a nice buying opportunity here to take it longer. So, but we got to see how that's all going to shake out. Okay. Now, again, if that's lost, then we'll just follow this candle here. Okay. So you got 2.56. We'll follow this candle here at 2.53. And then we'll look over here to the top of this one at 2.46 and then you come down to your 2.43 level here so everything you really need to know here about your support levels and your downside targets is basically sitting right here but just watch these key levels the 21 day the 100 day the 50 day the 200 day those are always your big big support levels here okay now upside well we want to take a look obviously at today's high yeah basically a 2.72 level then we can go to yesterday's high 2.78 and then we're going to be running right into this 2.83 this is that eight day now you can see how that eight day is rolling over so this could be a, a problem here for natural gas because a lot of times i'll show you here real quick is see when it rolls over like this then what you do is yeah does it rally up to it yes but then you're like you're fighting it the whole way okay just like when you have that rally going up just like we had here Okay, man, you're, you've got that support going on up here, but then you're just fighting this whole way. So we got to see how this is going to uh, uh, shake out here today. So bottom line here, what you just want to watch is watch that today's low. Okay, that's at roughly 2.719. Your next target on the downside is going to be right there, 2.685, and then we have your 21 day at 2.617. That's going to be all your key support levels here. Then obviously we follow the candles all the way down. Upside, basically just watch yesterday's high. That's going to be key. 2.78 okay and then watch that eight day if it rallies up uh see what happens if it can get up to that but right now we just have this series of lower lows and lower highs and so far that is not good okay now rsi here we're in overbought to, uh, territory here came and sold right on down uh not really telling you much right now this could reverse right back up we've got to see how that shakes out but i don't like this at all see how that green crossed over that red okay momentum to the downside not good okay see this momentum to the upside you have the green and then that's what you get okay this long green here up over red boom that's what you get so we got to see how this is all going to shake out so don't have no opinion okay so right now i have no position uh okay in uh natural gas so i am just going to just be a little bit patient here i know it's not easy to sit on your hands but that's what you need to do in this case it's just be a little bit patient here with the natty gas here. If it comes down and you hold that 21 day, okay, that'd be a nice good buying opportunity here, at least to run it back up to the eight simple moving average, okay? Same way with the crude oil, okay? If you can hold that 50 day and that eight day, then that could be an opportunity here to run it up to the 100 day. But if that's lost here, then it's an opportunity to take a short down here to this uh, 21 day. Okay, that's what I got for you. I'll be back here midday trading. We'll take a look at crude natural gas and then we throw something else in the old mix. All right, thanks for watching.